Hi, I'm Joe, and in this video, I want to explain to you what I think is the best way to learn computer programming. There are a lot of different ways you can learn, and I want to explain to you what I think is the most effective way to learn computer programming. First, though, I want to walk you through a bunch of different options. How can you learn computer programming? Well, there are a lot of different resources available. So let's look at this. There are classroom and lectures. You can sign up for a class, traditional uh, computer programming class and sit in the lectures and the benefit of that is you get you get to network with classmates you get homework assignments you get tests and quizzes which are stressful granted but they are also helpful learning tools because they force you to study the material maybe do a certain amount of memorization learn material master skills and then you're tested on it and you get feedback on that performance that's one way to learn and that's a great way because you you get experience in the classroom you get guidance from the instructor you get programming problems to solve as uh, homework assignments. So actually, classroom is not so bad. That's one good way to learn programming. I learned a lot of programming in a classroom. Number two, textbooks. So textbooks, a lot of them are really well written, and they have a lot of good examples. You can do practice problems, and the text actually explains a lot of the concepts and especially the theory behind it really well. So a textbook is actually pretty useful for learning some of the material. Number three, YouTube videos. There are thousands of great YouTube videos on every topic you can think of, including every topic within computer programming. So that is a great avenue. A lot of mine, I try to focus on five to 10 minute videos. I keep them pretty short and focused on a specific topic to help you master one specific topic, one skill. And then I usually link in code where you can actually practice using that code and uh, changing it, editing it, whatever. So that helps you learn. There are a lot of good YouTube videos out there. Next is official docs. So every programming language, every library has official documentation, almost always online and usually in HTML format. So it's very, very browsable. If not, it's in a PDF format. There's almost always good documentation for every programming language and every library you're gonna use. And that's a great resource for learning how to use that. And a lot of times they include in that documentation some tutorials, uh, some walkthrough examples of how to, to, how to apply or use the code. So that's a great resource for learning a programming language. Next one is projects. You have to get hands-on programming experience by actually solving a problem. And projects is a great way to do that. It can be individual projects or group projects. You can work with a team on coding challenge or a Kaggle exercise, or you can contribute to an open source project. These are all ways to work on different projects in computer programming and gain experience. And MOOCs or online courses are also a great way to learn. There are thousands of online courses on sites like Udemy and Coursera and Udacity. So you learn different things in a MOOC than you can learn in a YouTube video. Why? Because MOOCs include things like quizzes and tests. They have a heavier lecture component. And they're more like a structured course rather than a specific topic. Some of them you get certificates, some of them you get a nano degree. So MOOCs can be very helpful. Coding challenge websites are a great learning resource. So sites like Code Wars, uh, Code Chef, Top Coder, and Project Euler, one of my favorites. These are all great ways to learn because they give you a problem and they say, here, solve this. And they don't even care what programming language you use. You know, if you want to solve this in Python or C++ or Java, it doesn't matter. Solve the problem, submit your code or submit your solution. Most of the coding challenge websites are actually gamified. So you get points or you get a score or there's a ranking board or something like that for solving problems and you can move up and see how you're performing. So those are kind of fun. That's a great way to learn programming. Next, tutorial blogs and websites. So there are a lot of different websites that just walk you through examples, show you how to do stuff, explain in detail how to do stuff. So there are different blogs. Some of them are small, some of them are topic specific. Some of them have everything there is to know about Python. Something like W3 Schools is actually great for learning how to do specific short little tasks. They have little one page explanations that are really good. So there are a lot of different great tutorial blogs and websites out there. So now back to the original question. Of all of these eight different resources for learning, which one is the best? What's the best way to learn programming? Well, from my experience, it's all of the above. I'm, I'm not trying to dodge the question. I just feel like a multimedia approach and multi-channel approach is the most effective approach because you master different skills from each one of those resources. So you learn things from a textbook that you wouldn't learn from an online course. And you learn things from official documentation that you wouldn't learn from a coding challenge website. 
So you see, these are all different, and I think they complement each other. And I think it's important to use a lot of different resources to learn programming. Don't restrict yourself to just one thing or two things. Most important, you actually need to write code. That's the most critical thing. If you're not writing code as part of your learning exercises, you're probably never going to be a good programmer. Because watching other people do it is not the same as doing it yourself. So getting hands-on experience, actually writing code is what's most important. And, but all of these are great ways to learn. So you can learn a lot by watching a YouTube video. You can learn a lot through coding challenge websites. You can learn a lot through textbooks. But after, you, after that, you have to go and apply that yourself by actually using the code, writing code, running code. I hope this was helpful for you. If so, please click the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And if you have ideas that I overlooked, please mention them in the comments below. I'm Joe James. Thanks for watching.